I have no I have no idea. Does it tell you? Usually the hybrids are only. Uh... Let me make sure I can charge this. Sixteen amps, because you. Uh... Yeah, it's all new to me, bro. Let's see. I know how to put gas in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. So this wants to be on a 40 amp breaker. So maybe that will, won't work? So that, yeah, because the wire's only uh, rated for 30 amps. 30 amps? Yeah. Great. The, the, they say get a hybrid. You'll save the environment. Here I am. Yeah. yeah. So this finally does 40 amps. That's crazy for a hybrid. Usually the hybrids don't pull any more than like 16 uh, amps. All right. Well, it's a supercar, so it's a, it's a supercharger. Mm -hmm. No pun intended, Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> So I have this thing here that was existing and I guess previous owner probably just had that for RV or something, yeah. like charging a little battery on an RV. Yeah. And this is obviously gonna require something upgraded. Well, that's fine. And we could, we could put a level two charger. Let's do that. Same, it's the same thing as this. Yeah. And just rate it at the 30 amp charger. Or charge 40 amp. Breaker. Well, it'll be a 30 amp breaker. It'll charge at a rate of 24 amps. This will charge at 32 amps. Um, it'd be nice to know what the actual charge rate is. Well, let's Google it. Let's do it. Let's do some math with with cheating with the internet and Siri and whoever else. Um, it would be ideal if I could get it down there so I don't have to pull the car all the way in. But that's just me being a stickler. It'd be cool if I could just char like put. I was thinking have the charger in between the two posts right there. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it was here, the car sits here. If the basically the thing was right here, then I can just go between these two posts. And I could do it at the front of the car if it was pulled in this way, or if I backed a car in, I could charge it in the front here and still have room for another car here and all that. It's really a silly problem to have, and I'll tell you why. If you drive this car in electric mode, you can only go four or five kilometers as basically the battery's done. And you have to turn the car back on and let it charge itself back up. I got the battery all the way down to the red the other day, driving in performance mode, using up all the juice doing launches. Well, not launch launches, not the launch control, but like stomping and ripping it. Technology, man. You want a water? Or do you need something from the store? What are you doing? I look like you're plugging the thing in because you're holding onto the cable. Okay. Presley and I have been out doing a little bit of birthday shopping for my wife. Uh, because I leave in a couple of days. It's her birthday. Unfortunately, the actual day is during Gumball, of all things. So we're just getting a bit of fuel here. I have to come do a Chevron. Chevron is the only place in Canada that has 94 octane. Everything else is 91, 89, or 87. All I want to put in this thing is obviously 94, the best that I can. And uh, I've yet to wash this. It probably could use a little rinse, but uh, man, I'm interested in just, obviously, it's just weird to me that the engine's sticking out like that. And my first thought is, you know, I don't wanna spray any water directly on it, but at some level, you need to obviously be able to just like wand wash, pressure wash this thing. This thing actually, this thing has a significantly smaller fuel tank than an Aventador. I'm almost 100% certain because this had the fuel light on and that only took 50 liters. And previously in V12 Lambos, it was a pretty sure a hundred liter tank. So if I'm not wrong, and obviously I wasn't right empty, but this thing's gonna have like maybe a 
70 liter tank. I gotta look it up because now I'm really curious. Because I've noticed it doesn't go as far as my SVJ does. Maybe they think the freaking uh, EV, you know, um, hybrid stuff somehow helps the mileage. But there's no way. I don't think so. Maybe if you're on the freeway, but just cruising around town, I've had to come to the gas station twice already and I've only done like 200 kilometers. Hey, that was cool. Did this really cool shot of the car. Look at this. So that oh, was neat. It's not on right now. What's that? I was that? gonna say you can like swipe it. Oh yeah, we've that. done that. I've shown them how you can move everything over to the other screen. It's pretty cool, right? All right, let's head home and have dinner, kiddo. <laughs> this is kind of fun actually, Presley. This is where we came, you remember? What the, what's this spot right here? Where we got the car. This is where we came to get the car. The, the late midnight run delivery of the original delivery of the Revolta. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Well, they all know now because yeah. I put it in uh, I put it in a stories video. So it says 361 kilometers is my range. I'm curious what the SVJ says in a full tank. Now I'm gonna look it up. In some weird way, I think it gets more. I think it says like 400 kilometers, I'm not even joking. How crazy is this thing at night? I left it out here, I gotta take it into the garage and uh, I gotta get after my cardio. That's actually cool, you can actually even see the lights on the inside. Those new daytime running lights are wild. Definitely makes a car very futuristic, as well as, of course, those tail lights. Basically, right out of, oh, it locked itself again. Right out of the uh, like Centenario. Now, here's the best part: I have neighbors right here, but I don't have to wake them up. That's right, because I can just roll out of here in EV mode. I never thought I'd say this, but it's actually handy at home. Late at night like this when you don't want to piss everybody off. So check it out. That's the weirdest noise. I'm gonna roll the windows down so you guys get the full experience. So here we go. My gate should be open. <laughs> I was beeping because I got no seatbelt on, but how sick is that? Like just to get around on your property without pissing the neighbors off late at night. Or for example, if I want to take off early in the morning to do a drive or something like that, when the car's at home, this is probably the ideal car for having at the house. My wife absolutely loves it. Which is always a good thing when the wife's on board with a car, that's when you know you got her. But it's not all electric. It's just good for this little short range to accomplish that goal. And then after that, fire it up, V12 fires up, start the party and away you go. By the way, I got a quote for what it's gonna cost to get the, uh, the plug put into the wall there and it's not cheap. I'll tell you that much getting that you know hybrid power cable or whatever installed uh is about eleven hundred and fifty dollars because they got to rewire the breaker in the room and then fish a new cable up and through the attic through the ceiling and down this wall and then into that side but it's all worth it so when this car is at home I can plug it in when I want to. To be honest, I haven't had to plug it in once. As long as you drive it, to be honest, as far as I can tell, it just basically stays charged. The only time it really depleted the battery all the way down to almost being done was when I was ripping on it in performance mode over and over and over again. But then I just drove it again to charge it. So I don't know, I have to read the manual. I don't know when they really recommend you plug this thing in because I also have left over the last couple of weeks while the car was sitting here, not plugged in, came back, car was fine. Battery didn't even move at all. So, so far, that's a great testament to what they have built. Again, just knocked it out the park. All right, this is gumball rally prep. I'm buying throwaway uh, socks 
Got some no-shows and underwear. So I got all these fancy ones. But uh, yeah, there's nowhere to wash this shit and you basically wear it and then throw it out at the end of each day. That is something I should have, babe, considering where I'm going. Yeah. On a safari <laughs> in the middle, in, uh, in uh, Southeast Asia. I don't know why I have these weird accents all of a sudden when I start talking. Oh, what do we got here? We got camo stuff. Maybe I need some camo stuff. What is that? It's a bandana. Can you imagine me in a camo bandana? Now that is actually something we likely are going to need. Ponchos. Do I grab one? Final That's poncho. Mean. What do you think? I don't know. Think What's that one on the right there look like? The yellow one? <laughs> that one. What color is this it's one? Heavyweight gauge heat sealed vinyl. Fully waterproof. You know how hot that would be? That's gonna be so hot, disgusting to wear. Let's do it. All right, guys, little test here. I just bought this bag. Uh, it needs to be obviously pliable. I have a lot of hard luggage. So I have to be able to fit that in the SVJ once we get over to uh, Vietnam. And I figure the Rivalto was a good test fit. I actually don't know if it's got more room than an SVJ or not, but I guess we're gonna find out. Now, off to get a quick haircut, trim things up. It's been a hectic day. It's been a hectic day. It's also really warm out. Yes. Fire it up. Boom. Okay. The challenge is Gumball gives you all sorts of stuff. You know, you actually get a duffel bag full of stuff. So you don't want to overpack, but then you also need random crazy stuff for like a black tie event. So you need like dress shoes and all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna tell you where to go. I know where to go. <laughs> She's worried about me because she knows. I hate the I can't, way he I can't think of multiple things. I think Dan's excited. He came outside. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? I'm all right. Dude. You literally, I literally You're trimming you up, you're trimming up. up. Yeah. What are you down to? What's that? What are you weighing? Oh, still like 208. Oh yeah? Yeah. Down to 205. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Alan whooped my ass today, bro. Of course he did. Like the fact that I can even hold this cell phone is an absolute Do miracle. A miracle. <laughs> you could. Yeah. You like it? I do. Yeah, that thing's fucking gnarly. Yeah, it's I super... literally jumped when you read it. It's like I was filming you and I oh shit. Super subtle in yeah. Kelowna. Yeah, super subtle. Well guys, this is it. I'm gonna drop off the Rivalto. It's gonna go down to the dealer. Just get any updates. Car runs great, nothing wrong with it. Check it out. No lights on the dash. It's running amazing. Um, I'm just gonna send it down to make sure there's any updates that are done because it does all those over the air updates at the dealer. So they can do things like, this car doesn't even have CarPlay yet, but it will eventually. So they'll do any updates, um, check the oil, do all those types of things. Because I've already put double the mileage on this car, which isn't a lot. It's like 750 kilometers. Um, that way it's good to go when I want to go down to Cali with the car. But check this thing out. This thing is lightning, it's so fast. Woo! All right, we're gonna say goodbye to the old Rivalto, but that's okay. You guys are gonna see the SVJ next on the main channel when we hit the Gumball 3000. I'm super stoked, and don't judge me because I have a fanny pack on. It's what I use when I travel. Keep my, you know, passport, important things on my body and not in my pocket so I don't get pickpocketed. Well, that's it, saying bye to the fam. Dad's off to do the work and do the gumball. Love you. Love you guys. Have fun. I'll FaceTime you. Yeah. Peace, out. Peace out, dude. This is the short leg. There's only an hour to Vancouver. Meet up with Dave. Then we got the big one. 16 hours to Singapore. Little layover in Singapore. Four hours to Vietnam. Then the real shenanigans start.
This is it, guys. Leg one of three. This one's only an hour. We are in the lounge, Air Canada Lounge. What's that? Hey, buddy. What do you want? Do you want to get a table? Or are you good here? I think I'll save the tables till we get to the clubs in uh, Southeast Asia. I don't think anybody wants a party here, anyhow. Oh, let's see, we're lounging. Oh, oh, there it is. There's the bird, buddy. You ready? 16 hours on that it's thing. A long flight, the back of the plane. What's that? It's a long flight. You're not the back of the plane. So, the last time we flew 16 hours together, Dave and I flew to, for Gumball, and we flew LAX to Dubai. And the cool thing about that flight was, we actually didn't fly on Air Canada, so we didn't get the status. But what we did get was an Emirates business class flight, which had the uh, like half circle bar in it. Sky Lounge. The Sky Lounge. Now. Dave got absolutely shittered. Oh, yeah, no worship. Jet lag. You can drink on a flight. That's and, the biggest thing. And I wasn't drinking, so I didn't drink for that whole trip. And at that time in my life, it's not that I quit for drinking forever. I actually just quit drinking for about nine months, which happened to fall on Gumball. And I wanted to honor my word that I wasn't gonna drink. So I didn't drink that whole trip. Everybody got wasted. You wanna have a drink on the flight? Well, now I'm actually done drinking forever. I don't drink anymore. Oh, it's just one. <laughs> Yeah. One Jameson. No ice. Top top to the rim. How about you have an extra one for me? Let's see if you. Hey, I'll make you a bet. I'll, I'll make you a bet that you can have one drink an hour from now to the end of the flight. That'd be me. Six hours. All right. Are you, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get the safety equipment out already, Dave? Dave opened it up and there's like all this stuff. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Look at all the fun stuff I got. Check this out. Let me show. You, let me show you what kind of features I've got. So. Welcome Slippers. Canada, member of Starline. I've got oh, your safety and comfort. This nice little bag. And, <sighs> and in this, for any item we have uh, probably a toothbrush and some stuff. Do you want to look at it? Thank you for helping me share your travel with us. It's safe, it's comfortable, and on time. Go ahead and open this up. Oh, yeah. Face mask, Please sleeping mask, earplugs. Please don't forget to try on this aircraft. Earplugs. Identified by a green symbol. The Some soap. You. Soap smells good. Toothbrush. I forgot my toilet tissue bags. I need all this. What's that? I, forgot my I literally left my toilet tissue bag on the counter at my in-laws' place. I was in a rush. I need this. This is that. That was mine. All right. So we got a blanket. I can unwrap here. And this is uh, like a mattress that you put over top of your chair. And get all cozy. Also, adjust your seat right here. So if you wanna set up your seat, you can change the bolster and stuff, the comfort. So check this out, lumbar. So you can like deflate the mattress. See, softer. Right now, it's taking air out of the cushion under my booty. That's about right. I like it at a number two. My number sleeper's a two. 
softening right now. Ooh, that's nice. Dialed in. What number are you on the mattress? What number, Dave? Uh, what number, what number do you like? I need service soon. All right, so yes, we are going to Singapore, which I have never been before. Let's have a look at what's on the menu for this flight. So the challenge is I can't really, due to my healthy eating lifestyle now, I eat a lot of this stuff. However, I looked ahead of time and there are a few healthy options. Let me point them out for you. So right here, this appetizer, the smoked rainbow trout with lemon aioli. I will avoid the lemon aioli, but the trout would be good. Sliced egg, can eat that. Grapefruit, can eat that. Now out of all this stuff, barbecue, <laughs> pork, baby back ribs, can't eat that. Braised chicken thigh, mm, if I was in a pinch. The best thing on here is actually the roasted sable fish for my diet. So I might be having that. And lastly, for breakfast, they have a great breakfast option, which is the parsley omelet. That I've had many, many times because we fly Air Canada quite frequently, Dave and I. So we even get meals because um, we fly really early a lot of the time to uh, LA. So that parsley omelet is something that we've eaten many, many times. Like, how many times do you think we've eaten the parsley omelet on, on oh, air? Oh, dude, I live on this parsley omelet. Right? I think at home, I'm trying to freeze it and then thaw it and eat it so it tastes the same, but I can't get it right. <laughs> you do not. I'll come back, okay? Thank you very much. What are you having? Water. You said you're having sparkling wine. Sparkling water. I thought you water. said you weren't drinking. <laughs> I said I wasn't drinking on the plane. We're, we're on the plane. That's true. <laughs> Busted. That is not sparkling water. Is your sponsor now? And welcome to Singapore. <laughs> and the brakes. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Dave's rocking this tracksuit like a champ. So we're here for two hours, and then we are. Uh, uh, thanks. Small step. We have a two-hour layover, and then we are off to Vietnam after this. So we're just gonna hang out. We don't have to go through customs or anything like that. Well, that we know it was a mystery. We traveled internationally, different rules and whatnot, and procedures. We're so used to traveling with the same out. You That's don't true. Think, you don't even think about it. Well, even even to get here, our domestic flights didn't have to go through a second security to get on this plane to then fly all the way to Singapore. But when Dave and I go just down to LA, we have to go through a second security because you have different security rules, like taking your shoes off and all that sort of stuff. This is exciting. It's an American thing. It is a very much an American thing. All right, buddy. Let's roll. The bird has landed. So now we need to find our next flight. So, so what do you got? SQ-178. Service to Terminal. This is all Terminal 2. This looks like a lot of stuff going to like Korea, Seoul, there's what Bangkok. Is? Hey, check this out. Ho Chi Minh City. E8. Is that us? E8, where's the E8? And these, these are the other places we're going to. This one right here in Cambodia. That's on our stop on Gumball. It is, yeah. It's pretty cool to come here and see these on the signs. It's our first time ever being on this side of the world. Oh, Japan. that's not true. That's not that far. We went to Japan. Like, we, we went... Uh, I don't know, but I saw it on the map. I woke up at one point. I saw us like flying over it. Cop. Park him on ways. She didn't come to You see, I've been working really hard on my fitness lately. So I got my steps in because after 16 hours on a flight, I didn't get to do my cardio yet. I haven't gotten to lift any of my weights or any of my resistance training. So while Dave takes those escalators, I'm just gonna walk beside him and get my steps in. It's the least I can do. Oh, someone abandoned their water. 
I'm loving this track too, bro. It's so you. Bro, you want some yeah, yeah, Kanye toast? I didn't take that drink stuff, so I gotta be really careful what I eat. Oh, you didn't take the do crawl for the for the Too poopies? Late. You didn't take his didn't take his diarrhea medication. You're the worst with diarrhea. I know. Like out of the two of us, so probably, he's probably always it's got it's it. It's a double negative, so it'll be a positive. It'll be fine, bro. Oh, look at that! It actually is like a toast thing, dude. I gotta check this out. Hold on. It's like, what is this? I'm so confused. I'm interested in what she's making. Little sandwiches or something. Looks good. What are you doing? The bag's so heavy. You stole my roller bag so you can put your you can put your duffel on it. <laughs> I told you not to bring a duffel. This is wild. Check this out. This is in the Singapore airport. It looks like you're underwater with all this vegetation. This is all water and there's fish under my feet. Look at all the fish. It's pretty cool. Dave's over here. It's a whole pond and then with the glass so you can see through at all the fish and stuff. Hello, fishy. Pretty cool. Hey, dude. What do you think? Yeah, the roof is nuts. The way that it looks like you're under like all these what look like fish and animals and ducks. Beautiful. Okay, Starbucks. LA, LA, LAX does need to step it up. LAX is nothing like this. LAX is a shithole. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, they don't use Rolex here. They use the Omega, Omega Time. We are very much off the beaten path. We don't know where we went, but we're trying to follow these airline lounge things. I think we took like a back route. Cause I don't know. There's like nobody up here. Yeah. All right, we found it. This is the one we belong in. Hey, how are you? This is cool. Fancy in here. They won't, they won't let Dave in with his uh, cart. <laughs> don't they'll leave it outside. But he's telling him he has to leave it. He has to leave it way down at the end, I think. I don't know if you can leave it right there. I bring a trolley in here. You gotta bring everything, make everything so difficult, hey? When you dress in a full tracksuit, you treat it differently. I've learned that I've experienced this. <laughs> I was like, okay, I sit in the corner. Oh, this is nice. Look at all the seating. Looks comfortable. Oh, and food? Ah, oh, yes, food. It's kind of crazy. So we're at our gate, and now, because this is where we're going, now we go through here which is security, which Dave and I both have never seen this before. So interesting. So we go through security before we, right at a gate. So weird, hey? That's so weird. Security at the gate. That's the bird right there, buddy. Oh, it's Airbus. Yeah. Fight, Here we go. Handle. We are, uh, whoa, it's getting away from me. Oh, on our good. way now. So this is the first time we've ever flown Singapore Airlines, which are part of Star Alliance, which is part of our Air Canada status, which is cool. Um, apparently this is one of the highest rated airlines in the world. That's true. Yes, because my wife keeps saying, tell me what you think business class. That's first class. Business, first and business. That says economy, buddy. Uh, she said that they have really high rating. So she keeps asking me, Tell me what the experience is like. So I'm about to tell her. Right now, nobody has greeted us by Mr. Uh, DD Dave Poulter yet. <laughs> so let's find out. You wanna push some buttons? You like video games, right? All right. Hi. Hey, How are you? Good. How are you? All right, buddy. Where are you? 15. Hey, look at good seats. Oh, wow. Looks nice in here. Uh, I am 14A, so... Oh, it's all A right here. 14A? Are you 15? Yeah. You're behind me. Hey, you again. This is pretty nice. Here, watch your head. How does LA have that? Oh, dude. That'd be so sick. Oh, ready? Bam. I'll get in here. Look at this nice pillow. Wow. Blanket? All sorts of cool stuff. What do we got in here? I'm curious now. I got some water. Little greeting package. I'll have to open all this up. Check it all out. We got a menu. Woo wee! Welcome to world class. 
I've never seen this level of seat for a two hour flight before. At least three hours you can't get this. Not even close. Dude, look at, look at the menu. The menu is fancy as hell. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm excited to experience this. All right. How, how's the seating? How's it feel? Tell us. Dude, Describe it's, it. It's... You got a lot of room. Yeah, in case the pilot really wants to lean into a corner, really bank the it's plane. Like you ever see an AMG that pushes you from side to side? No, it's yeah. really nice seat. It's nice. I was expecting this. This pillow is nice. Dude, it's got a shoulder belt. Look at your seatbelt. <laughs> it's like on a in a car. That's cool. Right? I've never seen that never before. Seen that. Yeah. Very comfy. Oh, you can put your put your feet up in here. Look at that. This is where we're going, guys. What is it? Not long. Two hour little hop. See, it shows you right there. We go up. Big loop. And back down. We land in Vietnam. Oh, hi. We have orange juice and apple juice. This is fresh orange juice. Oh, fresh orange. I'll do a fresh orange juice. Sure thing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Awesome. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Excited? Dude, that was so true for that flight. That was a little bumpy at times. Freaking pumped for this. Yeah, Let's go. Time to gumball. We gotta go and collect the SVJ. So, you know what's funny? I have not seen it in any of the content that they've been posting. No, and it's not close. It's actually an hour north of the city. We're completely on our own. No, nothing. Just make it happen. All right. Figure out how to get there. Let's go. That guy looks very official behind me. Did you see him? Don't look him in the eye. Hey, if we don't get the SVJ, guess what they ride here? Motorbikes. Look how many look how many of them there are. Dude, that's crazy. That whole parking garage is all just like scooters. Holy crap, look at them all. Dude, these windows got shit all over them too. Yeah, watch your blind spots here. We have to find somebody? Yeah, I made some calls. Oh hey. I recognize that Hi. name. Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, it looks white, man. That's the way to go. Look at that. <laughs> Screw that line up, hey? That's amazing. All right. <laughs> Dude, the humidity here is nuts. Oh, there's a few people here. There's a few. Wow. Filming is going to be fun because when we in the car, there's air conditioning. As soon as you get outside the car, it'll fog the lens up. That's going to be the repetitive theme for the next 10 days. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Oh, yeah. Uh, how, how got the gumball sign. Everything, sure. Everything's okay, right? Great. Yeah, everything's yeah. good, man. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what is this? It's a Vietnamese coconut. I believe this is gonna make me fresh. Really? Fresh. Oh wow. You get to try this? Cheers. 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 Oh that's hella good. Fresh coconut water. Damn, that's good. That is tasty. There's no rum in there, okay? There's no rum in there. That is freaking amazing. I'm not for a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Oh, this is a good welcoming. All right. Rock and roll. First class. Oh, like this. Freaking oh, yeah. Maybach, bro. Wow. 
What? Well, look at these seats. Dude. I have an idea. Okay, hear me up. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. We do the rally in this. Dude. Total combo for the I audio. Would be I would be down. This is so comfy. And look. Hey, the roof line. Every time you go somewhere crazy, remember James picked us up in Dubai in yeah. one of these things? Yes. And we're also, we've done a lot of countries across the planet in a luxury minivan. This is true. Dude, the badging and everything in here is wild. Nico, when we went to uh, Belfast, picked us up in one of these. Yeah, it's like a theme. Almost our curb. There's a lot of people. She stepped off the curb. All right, she puts your belts on. You think that's crazy? Look at the floor. Oh yeah, bro, this is my life right here. Dude, okay. They didn't give me a beer. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to the driver. <laughs> How much can you bet you that I'll get him to drink that beer? Oh, it's only, it's his sixth one he's saying. So, so we're here a few days early and we have some logistics to work out. The car's like an hour away, I gotta figure that out. We have no confirmation the car's even there. I saw one post on Facebook of the car, but it wasn't in the same place as those cars. We also don't want to go alone. It's our first time driving here with no help. You're gonna notice in a bit how crazy the roads get, especially with the scooters and motorcycles. It's madness. Yeah, it looks crazy. But we see the first bit of traffic here. All the vegetation and everything here is very green because it rains a lot. All right, so welcome you to Vietnam and welcome you to Ho Chi Minh City. This is the second biggest city in Vietnam. The total population we have over here is over 9 million people. Wow. How many? Nine million. Nine million? Nine million? Nine million? Yeah, nine million. over, over nine million. So this city is just about over 2,000 square kilometers. Because of that, you will see a lot of traffic when you go out of, of the airport. So, uh, I believe that the first thing you need to know and you need to learn when you go to Vietnam or the Southeast Asian country will be how to cross the road. Yeah, believe me, it's going to save your life someday when you still stay in Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> We can tell us, tell us everything. We need we need a crash course right now, but don't crash during the crash course. All well, right. the traffic looks so bad, you could probably just walk. Yeah. So it's going to be just like this when we go out of the airport. After we go out from this, everything's going to be okay, all right? But right now is the rush hour in the middle of the day. The people from the office, they need to go out to have some lunch. So the traffic... You can't get up. Uber Eats? Huh? Can they order in? Is that <laughs> deliver rather than to go out? Did you say the city you can is order in. two thousand kilometers? Over two thousand square kilometers. Two thousand square, square kilo kilometers. kilometers. The whole city. The whole city. Is that smaller? Is that big? I don't know what that means. Yeah, really, two really thousand small. kilometers. That's big. Two thousand kilometers square. That's huge. How long would it take you if you're driving at one hundred kilometers an hour to drive? Corner to corner. Well, squares so is a thousand times a thousand. Mm -hmm. How's the math work on that? That's crazy. What's, what's the uh, dimensions of it? Like from uh, one tip to the other isn't two thousand kilometers. That's yeah, squared. That's, that's square. That's the circumference, yeah, right? Yeah. I need my protractor from high school to do the math on this. <laughs> a long time with traffic. That is nuts. <laughs> Camera's not focusing on you. There we go. Oh, so you're serious? I thought he was joking. For yeah, you, need okay. have, you need to know treating. All right. Listen, okay. Listen carefully. The first thing you need to have when you want to cross the roads in Vietnam will be courage. Be brave. Yeah, believe me. Last time I saw a couple of Japanese, they stay on the sidewalk about one hour because they're scared. Really? So, yeah. So after I drop off my tourists, I have to come back and help them to cross the road. <laughs> believe me. Okay. They nearly cried, alright? Alright. The second thing you need to have will be the magic hand. I know that maybe back to your country when you want to cross the road, you're gonna do this. It means you want them to stop, right? But never do this in Vietnam. Why? Because the Vietnamese, we never stop. Oh, okay. Alright, so if you do this, basically they will hit you. Okay. The thing you might want to do will be spread your hand like this and wave to make sure that the driver see you. Of course, when they see you, they will not stop too, but they go, will go around you and avoid you. Alright, and the last thing is the most important thing. You have to close your eye and keep walking like this. Yeah, it's work every single time. And I don't you believe want, you. Yeah, if you want to practice. I, no, I don't believe this guy. He's playing games right now. <laughs> close your eyes and wave. Some more beer. <laughs> Dave, you want another beer? Yeah, 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 yes, party. Yeah. Take one for you. Some interesting signs around here. Dave's ready to party. Damn it, quit drinking, and I just started. <laughs> <laughs> Perks of being the co pilot. That wouldn't stop me, Damon. Oh, it was a bribe. I like it. <laughs> Paying people off right there. I got that, I got that on camera. <laughs> got that on camera. Customs. Bro, look at this. You and I have, I have to drive in this? Look at this. The motorcycles just go wherever they want. 
Like, watch, they'll turn and go upstream up the traffic. This is nuts. There's round right in there. Look at, look at. What's, she What's she doing? She's just gonna go between everybody. Better not. They just go Don't everywhere. What's she doing? Look at. Yeah. She's cut you off. What in the actual hell? Dude, and you just keep moving forward. Yeah. Do you ever hit them? Nah. Nah or nah? Dude, nah. this person nah, is tight. Ah, you're out, buddy. <laughs> Stop lane splitting. That is crazy. So you can look like this, I use it. It's so chaos, but we have the organized chaos. We know. Look at all the flags. That's cool. Just, man. Is that Burberry? What? We have tanks. Dude, why are there tanks there? So that's the, basically it's the museum. Oh, it's the museum. Yeah. He got us on that one. So he said it's where you rent tanks. And Take that on, Gumbo. Because this near to the airport, so we're gonna have a lot of army base over there. Army base? Army base. That's yeah, the army base. That's the army base. So you're gonna see a lot of plane, rocket, missile thing. Did you say so missiles? Missile too. Why would we see missiles? Uh, just to make sure that the, the airport is safe. Bombs make me feel safe. <laughs> to look at here the architecture change changes like every building and down these little side streets that's the coolest like huh. i can't wait to go and explore this is this wild well it's going to be one hell of an adventure <laughs> and i'm genuinely a little nervous to drive here for real well, what's the craziest place that we've driven so far? We drove to London, it was wild. This is more wild than London. Dude, where else? Nothing's like this. No, London was pretty busy. No, there's nothing like this. This is, this is like complete chaos. Like, for real, oh, that building's seen better days. Wow. There's not many big buildings right here. That's a big building for here. But like, the scooters. Like mainly what people but cars through. just move over and scooters adapt. So I think he's living your life and the scooters will figure it out. Like, watch, he's living his life right now. He ain't worried about nothing. He moves over and he feels like it. <laughs> I'm checking the mirrors. Oh, look at them. <laughs> wow. Uh, they, make, they make the rope for the loud embassy. Oh, the embassy? Where are they? The embassy. Let's do it. And we're here. We're at the hotel. Oh, boom. Look at this beautiful city, guys. Take it all in. Take it all in. I'm pumped to be here. Let's go. Gumball, baby. You got yours? I swear I just lost mine. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Park Hyatt, Saigon. Park Hyatt. Thank you. Wow. It's gorgeous. This is rad. I gotta find my passport. Ready to do this? Passport? Yeah. Canada. And tomorrow you have free time. Okay. Yes, until the show at 14, you have free time. So we get a last tour here for you. Uh, this is full day in Mekong Delta. And a half day for city tour. And uh, this is a night day. You have the dinner with dark. And this one for the best part. Dinner in the dark. Yes. You don't know what you're eating. <laughs> Dude. And it's crazy. Every page yes, is branded. And you can get a trip with a press bar, Piaggio. You know that? Italian. It's a long time ago. So, no idea. Do you know that one? So the hotel room is $6 million a night. Yeah, so you know, we, bought, we bought the hotel for $6 million. That's expensive. It's our hotel now. Okay. Like Bruce Wayne. So what's the currency here? Currency today is a dollar. It's 24000 no, one dollar. Uh, this is oh. a US dollar. US dollar. Yeah. One US dollar is $24,000. Yeah. That's why it's six million to stay here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and elevator. So, where are we going? We're going to the third floor. You want to say the room number? Put this video up. We'll be here for a few days. I'll say Nico's room number when he gets here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's try to find our room. Wow, look at that. Dude, we're on the third floor. We went up and there's a garden up here. What is this? Oh, pool. This is the pool, bro. How's the best pool in Vietnam? Yes. All you right. Ready? Oh my gosh, it's hot out here. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy crap. 
All right, let's check this out. We heard this is the best pool. Let's see what it's all about. It's pretty cool out here. It's gorgeous. Some Welcome to the jungle. We oh, dude. Damn. It's the best pool in Vietnam. We're Actually, we weren't joking. It's really gorgeous. So we're on the third floor outside deck. <laughs> wow. That's insane. Dude, the heat here is incredible. Like, people at home watching can't even understand it. How hot and humid it is here. You don't, you don't need a sweatshirt. It reminds me of Florida. Yeah, it exactly like Florida. Florida. This is gorgeous. Hi, how are you? Hi. We're just looking. Yeah. Look out later. Wow. This is cool. <laughs> it is beautiful. Look at this. Just drinks, got everything you need. Yeah. Well, this is it. Let's see what it's like. Oh, ooh. Thank you. Oh, it's nice. Oh, bro. Dude, the AC is amazing. Dude, you could live here. They're like full on closets. I'll tell you this much that uh, that's a small tub. Let's see. Look how small that tub is. Can you help me push this together? <laughs> it's a beautiful room, actually. Legit. So, you got two pieces, then? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you want to crack your drag dragon fruit open? What the fuck you gonna do with that? You could eat it. The inside would be white with black seeds. Oh, <laughs> there's a Snickers in there. <laughs> you make me a coffee? This is cool. We're facing the city. It's gonna be a freaking adventure, you guys. Buckle up, get ready, we're excited. We're gonna meet up with more of the crew just in a little bit. Okay. I've landed and the first thing I'm doing to keep my fitness on check is I'm going to the gym. Bar. It's the first thing I'm oh, the gym. First thing is the gym. So we're gonna go check out the fitness center right now. And I'm even gonna bring this guy with me because he I says might, I might go check the spa. He well. says he wants to uh, get into shape, so let's see. Uh, it's on this floor. Yes. What's in here? Which way is the gym? Fit fitness center? Fitness. Fitness? Fitness. fitness. Which way? Show her the muscles again. Fitness? <laughs> yeah. This way? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Dude, that was universal language right there. That or she thought you were asking her to get. You want to drink some more water to stay hydrated? You want fresh water? Or so. Would you like something different? Oh shit, there's actually fresh water in there. And internet. Okay, that's oh. weird. I don't think we're supposed to be in there. This way. We go oh. this way. Uh, spa? There. This way? Yes. Well, it's warm in here too. But I'm actually relieved they got real equipment. Bro, I'm about to crush this. And we're here for how many days? We're here for three nights. Perfect. Oh, there's people in here. I'm yelling. We out here getting it. Let's go. Fucking put that fucking work in, right? Paid them dues. <sighs> fucking hell. Fucking hell. All right, guys, look who we got. We got Duke from Duke Dynamics who built my 720 GTR kit. And look, we even have the start of the Gumball 3000 grid. So this is the city center right here. And uh, you were saying, Dave, that it's gonna be a Guinness Guinness World Record. They're yeah. gonna have the most exotic cars ever in one spot yeah, in this city. It's like, I believe it was worded as the biggest car show ever in the country for exotic vehicles. That's what I, I believe I read. Biggest exotic car show ever in Vietnam. Yeah. That's cool. So we're going for lunch with this guy. Are He's a local. He, he knows yeah, the spots yeah, yes. apparently. You want pho? Yeah. Yeah, you want to get you want to get pho? It's better here than in Compton. We'll find I'm out. sure the pho yeah. is better here. Let's find out. It's cool here. There's so much stuff going on. Like it looks like they're gonna set up a big party here. So how far away do you live from where we are right now? Like we just left the hotel. Yeah, it's about eight kilometers, like the, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah. When the traffic's not too bad. Yeah. What, do you, what do you drive here? <laughs> yeah, you ain't driving a car. No, do you drive no. a scooter? It's a scooter, man. You got a scooter? Scooter yeah. life, man. You got a body kit on it? Dude. <laughs> the Duke Dynamics <laughs> scooter kit. With a 4x4 carbon fiber wheel. Dude, look at the scooters, bro. Like, how do you get your scooter out here in the back? 
they push it out. Yeah. That is crazy. How, how, you, you'd you'd have to push it out? Yes. No, they, they push it out for you. They push it out. Yeah. Is this it? Faux sol? Yeah. Faux sol? Yes. Oh, bro. I am excited for this. This is exciting. Oh, they lock you in until you pay your bill. We don't pay in the app. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, doesn't get more authentic than this, does it? The humidity is nuts, bro. Thank you. Thanks. Are you excited? I'm really excited. It's a bit early. Hello. That's it. It smells. Dude, what are you getting, Dave? I just want to get rare beef pho. Like we get. No, 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 no. Get, get this thing right here. Yeah. What? Well, get one of these. How about some bone marrow? Yeah, get, get some of that. I didn't take the, the drink, so I gotta be careful. Like ease myself into it. Oh, you didn't take the Duke? But the you Duke, did. Duke you roll. Did. I took the diarrhea stuff, so we'll be good. I'm gonna try everything. I'm gonna say that that's pretty hot. And then all your stuff comes on the side and you have to put it in. Oh, you have to touch, heat up my hand. Dude, touch the side of the bowl. Yum, yum, yum. This yum. drops it on your lap. You'd end up with uh, cooked balls, whether you like it or not. Speaking of balls. Just the meatballs. Just the meatballs. Yeah. meatballs. Uh, Fantastic. The, the, the on your way. <laughs> Have a it's delicious. I put a little bit of that in, and let me tell you, got some kick, doesn't it, David? I put two scoops in. <laughs> well, it's super authentic, so. And, and you, slurping is like allowed, right? You can slurp your soup cream. Yeah, yeah. So just the rules. There were some customers you can and can't do here in Vietnam. Yeah. Ooh, the rules. There's no rules. Thanks, he said there's no rules. <laughs> there's no rules. This room is so small, and if you're this shit, you'd be sitting here listening to this. And the only thing you're closing this door is that. <laughs> All right, we've got the beginning of the gumball crew here. The drinks are flowing with the They're boys. Flowing. I'm on my water. I'm, I'm tons of fun. But you know what? Dave will always have a DD for gumball. <laughs> drink up, buddy. Drink up, drink up, drink up. Drink up, drink That's up. not mine. That's not mine. Wait, wait. Are they here? <laughs> oh my God, they made it. This is the most abstract thing ever. What's up? How you doing, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see Everything you. Everything good? Yeah. How's Nico. How are you doing? What's up? Oh, How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to Nam. Very cool. Oh, shit. Did you say welcome to Nam? Welcome to Nam. He's already abbreviated. <laughs> He's, He's abbreviated. <laughs> What's up? Right, so How are you doing? Cool, man. So You're looking great. How are you doing? Oh, this is awesome. Nice to meet you. This is I am. James wants to know what other what other big names are coming on this rally, guys. Who's coming? Nico, so James, it's like a, fo a football player James, and yeah, who else? Jimmy Graham from the New Orleans. Play for the New you have to Orleans lean Saints in. This music's really loud. Get in here. Yeah, we've got Jimmy Graham. For, he was a tight end for the New Orleans Saints. A tight end. A tight end, yeah. What does yeah. that mean? We all we we know, we know, know about a tight end. Oh, You're going to be a tight end in Southeast Asia. Loves it. Happy <laughs> ending. <laughs> we've got this Dutch Irish guy coming. I think he's from Belfast. Uh, is Ja Rule really coming? Yes. Ja Rule! Ja Rule's gonna be here. Oh! Please believe. Ja Rule is, ja is coming here. Yeah. Is he? No! Monica! <laughs>